Since the two-wire decoder path follows the main pipes, you may want to install a T-splice to reach valves that are out on the main line. This is okay within the max distances specified for the wire that you're using. If you're using a 12 gauge, you'll be able to go about 7,500 feet maximum from the controller to the farthest decoder on the path. If you're using a 14 gauge wire, your distance is only about 5,000 feet from controller to the very end point on the path. You want to follow the general rules that apply for all splices. Number one, you want to leave plenty of slack at the splice location. Here I've got about two feet up and two feet back in to work with and make my splice connection. You'll also want to use the DBRY6 connectors. So here we'll start our first three-way splice and this portion of the cable comes from the perpendicular part of the trench. It has a hard polyethylene jacket on the exterior and you'll simply come back about 10-12 inches and you'll score the outer jacket, not pierce it through, just score it and you should be able to snap it right off. Once it's snapped, it exposes the inner red and blue wires. This is our main loop that follows the main line heading, heading down with the pipe in the trench and we'll start by coming to the top of the loop and we're simply going to sever the two wire path into two pieces. We're going to want to recreate what we've done here on the other and we'll start by scoring about 10 or 12 inches back the outer hard plastic gel. So next what we'll do is take the red wire from each of the three wire runs. You want to follow red to red, blue to blue throughout the entire system. And you'll notice with the DBRY6 connectors, once again they're ready for use with either the 12 gauge or 14 gauge wire, thus they're red and yellow here. So you'll take those three cables and you'll affix them together in the first wire nut, put it on firmly, and at this point you want to make sure that none of these three cables are loose and wanting to come out. Remember these connections are critical for the proper operation of your system. Once you've got the three reds together, we'll take and put the three blues together. So now that we have our blue wire path connected, we'll go ahead and start with our red side. Once again, make sure your wire nuts are tight on here right now and none of your wires are loose and ready to come out. Take the cylinder and line up the wings on the wire nut with the slots on the cylinder and insert that wire nut all the way down to the base of the cylinder. As you're doing that, the gel is being forced outward to create that waterproof connection. Then from there, simply route your three wires out the side slots through those side channels. And once you've got them in the channels, lock down and snap that over and you've got another good waterproof connection. Now remember all these connections made in the field have to be put into a valve box so you can locate these after the fact and protect them from, from the elements.